Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to be unboxing and checking out the Lun Yi 3018 Pro Ultra, not the Pro Max, the Pro Ultra CNC machine. This is a 30 by 18, well, 300 by 180 CNC machine. Desktop, very small and compact that you can do a lot of metal engraving and things like that. Now this machine is all metal. Supposedly it takes about 20 minutes to get this thing built. The spindle that it comes with is a 500 watt spindle, which is awesome. It doesn't come with those little tiny baby 75, 80 watt spindles. They're going to be able to get a lot of work done with that spindle. What's up, buddy? Hi, bud. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this thing built. If I run into any issues, I'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll talk about those as they arise. But I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and crack this thing open, get it all put together. And when we come back, it's going to be ready to go. All right, guys, I said I was going to pause and I'm just going to say this thing is absolutely super easy to put together with the exception of the wires. They give you all of these little individual wires here to kind of match up. And I will tell you that the print on this control board is very small, very hard to see. I took a picture with it with my phone. Basically, if you just follow the wiring diagram, it is very self-explanatory on the instructions. But I will tell you that all of these wires does seem a little unnecessary, kind of a little downfall. They give you this little tiny wiring loom. I think that's to kind of control, but I guarantee you that I'm going to have wires going all over the place. Sometimes it is nice to have a nice wiring loom, but I can tell you with the way that I do wiring that it's not going to be too pretty at the end. It's probably going to look like a big spider web. Let's go ahead and get this thing put together and then I'll get everything wired up and show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's go do it. So this is X motor. Why would Y motor? This is going to be Z motor. Now this one never changes. Now I'm following what they're putting down. So this is going to be X2 and X1. Okay, so that's going to go here. Okay, we're good there. So there's that. There's that. And last is the offline controller. All right, we're done. Let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I got the Lungi 3018 put together. It took me probably about 20 to 25 minutes. I did have some troubles with the wiring. The wiring harness and all of this wiring uh, mess is something to be desired. I'm not too fond of the way that this whole thing is set up with the wiring. This thing is very stout. It has linear rails. It is screw driven. This does come with a loom that you can put some stuff in and it also comes with these rail covers. And if you want to take the time and do all that, go for it. I am not big on wire organization. It is just not my thing. The other thing that it comes with are these T-clamps. And these are the actual really nice T-clamps that I really, really like. You can see right here that this is a really nice uh, T-clamp that you put in and you can hold down the material that you're using if you're not using the double-sided tape method. We're going to do a small little project using the offline controller. I'm not going to hook this up to a computer. You don't need a computer to use this. You do need a computer to create your G-codes and things like that, which you can then export onto an SD card. You do not want to have this connected to your computer via your USB cord and your offline controller. It will mess it up. It will kind of confuse the system on which way to go. So it's kind of, so just think of it as one or the other. You're either gonna use your computer or you're gonna use your offline controller. And it's gonna come with some bits. It's gonna come with some 1 8 inch bits that you can get started with your project. Now, if you wanna to upgrade to a uh, ER11 quarter inch collet, you can do so. So that's what we're gonna use. We're just gonna go ahead and strap down a little piece of wood and see what comes up on that card. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in onto the offline controller, get it started, plug it in and uh, see what happens. So let's go ahead and get it, get it fired up, see what it does. 
All right, we went ahead and we got a bit put in. We're gonna go ahead and power on the machine for the very first time and see what happens. You can see the offline controller is working. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try to get a little bit better shot on the camera and then we can go ahead and try to control this a little bit and see what happens. So let's go ahead and see what files they send. See if they give us any test cuts on this machine as well. Let's go ahead and use the offline controller to move the machine around, see how it does uh, for the first time. Right now we're in the move section. There is a file and a set. So let's go ahead over to move and see if it goes left, right, front and back. So let's go ahead to that and hit okay. Right there, it looks like we have the X, Y axis, the Z axis. We're at a 0.5 millimeter of a movement and then the spindle to turn the spindle on and off. So let's go ahead and check uh, the spindle, see if we can turn that on. All right, spindle works. Let's go ahead and move the machine left and right. Let's check the step up to five. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and do front and back. And I believe we're going to be backwards on this. So if we hit minus, it's going to go forward and forward, it's going to go minus. So let's go ahead and hit plus. There it is. We're good to go there. Let's go ahead and hit exit. Let's go over to files, see if there's any files on that card. There is, it says iPhone, Star, and UB, and Ubuntu, Ubuntu. So there are some files on that card. So there's that. And then let's go over to settings and see what that is. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like, like a baud weight rate or something like that. Very interesting. 115200, uh, 5760. It's almost like modem baud rates or something like that, which is really weird. Uh, there's no settings to change on the machine or anything. Let's go ahead and just strap a piece of wood and let's just see what this thing does. We might be hooking this thing up to a computer uh, because, um, yeah, I don't know what it's going to be doing. I think we're gonna move this. Let's kind of find the center, all right? We're gonna do the paper method. Oh, right there. We're gonna call that zeroed in. Let's go to file. Let's go down to the star, which is the middle one. I have no clue what this file is going to do. I say we go ahead and start it and see what happens. Oh my gosh, I didn't do anything. Let's do that iPhone. Let's see what the iPhone was and start. All right, that literally says iPhone. Uh, let's go back to file. I want to see what that thing is right there at the last one. We're going to move this uh, machine a little bit. Let's do the paper method again. All right, we're gonna call that the home zero location. And ooh, this one's a little bit bigger. This is 676, so let's go ahead and start it. All right, guys, so what I think this is actually doing, I think it's literally spelling out Ubuntu, U-B-U-N-T-U. Uh, I'm not even sure what this file is. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cancel this and stop this right now. And let's go ahead and connect this to Easel and see if this machine connects to Easel. And then we'll go ahead and actually cut a file or something on here and see what it does. So, but we know that it's working, it's doing its job, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So let's go ahead and hook up the uh, laptop to it. All right guys, my microphone wasn't on that whole time. So what I did was I put in a one quarter inch 
bit. Now this is probably not the right bit for this job, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and send it. I went ahead and changed out because I kept breaking these little bits right here, unfortunately. So I put this V bit in here and we should be able to cut this metal using the bit that's in there. So let's go ahead and give it a send right now. I went ahead and probed it, got it all ready to go. We're on, ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and hit send. Spindle is on, let's carve it. Oh no, it's moving. If anything now, the tape is not gonna stay still. I could already see that moving a little bit. Oh, that's a bummer. This bit was actually gonna work, but unfortunately the tape is moving. All right, so this is my very first time ever cutting any kind of metal or anything like that. This is unfortunately a big fail. Uh, the machine is working, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, but I have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to holding down. Look, here it goes. So now it has finally just broken away from the glue and the tape. No! You're seeing it right here, first hand guys. My first fail cutting metal. Look at it, there it goes. This is terrible. Well, I hope you got a little bit of humor out of this video, so. But, the Lundley works perfect. The machine works great. Uh, me cutting metal, not so much. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Look at that. I'm afraid this thing's gonna go send that thing flying, so. <laughs> oh, good lord. It would have worked. <laughs> it would have worked. That bit's probably still as sharp as it gets. God, I'm terrible with that. All right, guys, that is it. That is the video. That is the Lunyi uh, CNC machine, the 3018 Ultra. This thing is absolutely awesome. With the exception of the wiring, I am absolutely terrible at the wiring and wire organization, only for the sheer fact that it's all over the place. But the machine is well built. It's super stout, super well made, easy to put together, comes with that 500 watt spindle, connected right to easel for me, super easy, and it is super well built. The instructions, you're gonna have a very easy time putting this together. If this is your very first CNC, your very first 3018 CNC, I'm going to probably put this upstairs in my craft room inside the house. It's extremely quiet and I could do really small projects up there. Just bring my laptop, good to go and without any issues. And it doesn't create a huge mess. You could see it came with everything I needed to start up a project right off the bat. If you are not familiar with Easel, I recommend that. That is the easiest program to get into CNCing. It connects to your computer very easily. You do have to download the CH something 3014 files. All right, guys, my mic is about to die. And all right, guys, that is it. That is the video. I just want to thank Lundley for sending the 3018 Ultra. This thing is actually pretty awesome. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this on the next video for this machine, we are going to hook up the 10-watt uh, laser. It's actually 5.5 diode laser. We're going to go ahead and get that tested out, but I think it's going to work awesome. That is it, guys. All right, until that next video, make sure you all do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.